Okay, so finally, after waiting like almost a month, woohoo! Little Miss Danielle is gonna have to show, but I got my Manchester United team jersey, and here you have to do the back so you can see. Oh, that might be. Oh, shit. Hold on. It's backwards, but okay. I know. Yeah, now you can see. Ronaldo. So, after watching on some off chance things of uh, on YouTube, this guy, like I've said in other videos, this guy's the most amazing football player, basically soccer for US, that I've ever seen. He's crazy, crazy good. So, I bought a Manchester United. Plus, it fits because during the last trip to Europe, um, my mom got me a white shirt that says Manchester United. It was, uh, it's funny how things come full circle in some ways. But uh, that shirt is so worn. It has holes in the armpits. It's hung in my closet. I don't ever wear it. But it was the Christmas gift that my mom was going to give me on uh, that year she died. It's the same with my England hat. Um, I think for like four or five years, I never wore the hat. It still had the price tag. It was six pounds from England. And then I wore it. And now it's dirty. It has sweat stains and all that. But I, here, let's go. You'll be able to see. Uh, yeah, it says turnstile, but now if I wear my England hat with my Manchester United shirt, so I was at work and I brought up watching, um, the, him on YouTube and brought it up and they're like, dude, that guy's like one of the most wealthiest, highest paid players, you know, over there and makes such and such. I'm like, no, no, no. He makes more than just that. Hold on. But, uh, I'm just, oh my, yeah, he's just awesome. So I had to buy a shirt. Probably should have gotten an extra large, but that just means I need to lose some weight. So then it won't be bad. No, it, it highlights my fat tummy. It does not. It does. nice. I have a fat tummy. It is nice. I like it. It's cool. It looks nice on me. So, um, Yeah. So after having kind of a rough night, uh, what is it? I did it on, uh, I'm going to post this up on both. I'm going to post this up on Instagram, Lex AEDC, and then on YouTube where I've changed it to Little Miss Danny and Lex dash AEDC. So because my girl, well, she's part of it. So she needs to be incorporated. So, um, She's going to follow me out because I'm going to put this on. I bought this uh, the other day at work. It came in under our choice or higher for top sirloins. This is the cap part of it. And um, so this is the cap part of a top sirloin. And it's actually listed as prime. So it's actually prime, prime grade meat. So we're going to go out and throw it on the grill. She's going to use the camera. She can say hi, too. Hi. Oh, oh wow. I look like a hot mess. Okay. Well, it's after work and... I took a shower and didn't dry my hair. <laughs> so here well, we go in our dark hallway. Oh, there we go. I know. It's, that's the ne my next project. To fix, fix the, the light. light. So temperature right now is sitting at about... 350 degrees. Can, can, is it seeing you? Yeah, it can probably see. So we're just going to put this on. We're going to put it towards the back because it's a little bit. We're going to let it slow cook because part of it is still frozen. I didn't get it out on top. So let's do this. This one folds nicely. Leave that out. So yeah, we're gonna do that, and then I'm gonna do my deliciously craved and frequently asked for fried potatoes. So, 
with today and it being a rough day, I did like massive cleaning. So I had the day off, obviously. Um, little Miss Girl, she worked, so she came home to the kitchen completely cleaned, all dishes done, swept, mop, uh, family room and our bedroom vacuum because we don't really use the second bedroom. The bathroom swept, mopped, and cleaned. Um, then there were some things where I touched up paint where I was missing. So yeah, I did all of that today while dealing with the stuff I want, I needed to deal with. Right now I'm just doing dishes. So she got three large potatoes that I will cut up and slice up for uh, fried potatoes. But I'll start those probably probably in about half an hour or so. So I'm gonna let that meat kind of slow cook and um, just didn't know what to do today, but um, it was one of those days where I just going anywhere, doing anything, just did not, it, it just wasn't right. And I don't want to get into too many specifics, and I should, but I'm not going to, because I don't want to hurt peop some people's feelings. I don't want to make any situations worse. I'm just going to accept what's happened. Um, but one comment that always makes me wonder too sometimes is, so I'm a big fan of Justified, Timothy Oliphant and uh, Walton Goggins. That show, Nick Siri, I believe, or Searcy. Such a great show and I love the show. But in the first episode, uh, Timothy Oliphant, if you've seen Justified, Raylan Given, you know, kind of breaks into his ex-wife's house, because she's married, and talks about stuff and you know, I was always told when I was a kid and later on by my mom that I was one of the happiest kids. And I don't think she was, she really understood that it was a really big front. And um, I wasn't, I'm not a happy person. Not for any particular reason, it's just, well, there are some reasons. But not, um, I'm not like a mean, evil, sadistic person, unless of course you cross me the wrong way, and then I will have fun and do things, and I will not be mean, mean, but I will be, I will come up with ways to look super, super sweet and kind with an ulterior motive where I'm not so, there's an underlying message. So I will act all, oh, this and this, and then deep down it's, huh, you mess with me, you ain't, you're ain't, you not gonna like it. Because I'm gonna get you back, but it's like the old saying goes, kill him with kindness, huh. and I go over the top. Maybe a little too over, but it's what I do. But um, after the day today, I just cleaned. And that's usually what I do. I did it whenever I got mad at the kids, my kids, is when they got me super, super mad, I would send them to their rooms to clean. And when I meant clean, I meant like beds made, every little thing picked up, just organized everything. And then I turned around and I would start cleaning everything. It didn't matter if I cleaned it the day before, I'd go back and clean it again. Then I'd go look for stuff to clean. Then I'd go look for more, for more stuff. It was, for me, it's therapeutic. And with my health insurance kicking in, but not really that great this year, um, I should have better insurance next year. Yes, for mental health and mental awareness, and for the sake of just, trying to be happy it's um well, it's i need that it is because i put on a really good facade i put on a really happy and you know when i'm at work it's like hey this and this but 
deep down there's a lot of rooted things that go back a very long time and I need to out an outlet and what helped for a while and maybe I could do it again is working out really really gave me that way because I'm the type of person where if we get in an argument or something I don't want to talk about it right away I don't want to talk about it in 10 minutes in an hour and six hours or a day yeah no he doesn't like to talk about it takes a while because i play things in my head i play conversations and scenarios and i do go through every possible way good and bad and just downright nasty i i mean i i go that far but it's a way for me it's how i've learned to control my temper and parts of my anger, which really does help. It helps me. So if something happens, I need some time. I, you need to leave me alone. And let me sort it out. And then when I come, come to talk, it's more... Rational. More rational, but I'm in a better place where... I know where the conversations will lead as the conversation goes. And if I don't want it to go a certain route, I'll know how to divert it. Because that's how I play every little thing in my head. Um, it's happened with the Little Miss. I mean, we've been together for almost a year. We've had one major blowout. No. No. It was, but it wasn't. Yeah, but that one... That, but that, no, the one that was kind of close, we talked it out right then. And we got rid of it. The other one really made me mad to the point where... Which I didn't understand. She didn't know, so... And I went and slept on the sofa. And so, like, I, I'm not kidding. It was like almost every hour, hour and a half, there she is poking me. Come back to bed. No, leave me alone. I just want to be left alone. Let me sleep. But why? And she wanted to talk about it. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. And, no, I just wanted you to come back to And bed. she's poking me and poking me, and it just... Oh. Well, it that, wasn't good. Let's just put it that way. And then it was later on the next day, or the next morning before work, we, we had talked it out a little bit. No, it was after work. Yeah, because you were still mad. Because I was still mad, but I was nice at work because you have to put on your happy facade. And then when we got home, we talked it out, and I was able to talk it out. For other things, I need that time. And for everybody, it's different. Everybody, they need something. Everybody deals with it in a different way. Yeah, everybody deals with stress and anger. I feel like the older you get, too, the older you get, when things do make you angry you do know that you have to take time to process it because if you don't then you're going to say things that you really don't mean or you could have said in a better way instead of hurting you know you don't want if someone hurts you you don't want to turn around and do the same thing so that's why everybody deals in a different way processing and for you it's a good thing. Yeah, because I do it. Otherwise, where, you get you get. I can blow up. I mean, yeah, I I you have. You say things that you don't. You say really, really. Let's just. I'm not trying to call you out, but you do say really, really mean things. Yeah, when I get hurt by people that are super close to me that I've allowed to be super close, and you hurt me, I'm I'm not one that will say something. It's when I'm when I go, I'm going for. I'm going for blood. I'm not just hitting below the belt. It's I'm stabbing below the belt with a dull spoon. I'm going to make it hurt, that's and you're going to know it. And that's not fair. That's not right. And that's why sometimes we need time to process things. We need time to get our emotions and thoughts and everything in order. And some people don't get it, and some people want to just take care of it right then and there. And, and yeah, she's one. She's one. 
I'm not. I'm the type that you need to leave me alone for a while. And sometimes it's a day, sometimes it's a week. Um, and there have been a couple times where it's been a couple months. Um, like I said in one video, between my sister and I after our mom died, some things happened and it was a couple months. It really was. And then, but I don't know why. I mean, I never really grew up with my sister. She's nine years older than me. Um, I don't ever think of her as being nine years older. So when I talk about people our age, I incorporate her in that and she has to try to remind me. And I'm like, I'm sorry, I just don't see you as nine years older. I see you my age because that's how, that's how we are. But I'm really, really super close to my sister. We've gone through a lot of similar things in our lives. Um, so we kind of understand each other. And it's kind of nice. Uh, we can bounce things off each other. And I owe her quite a bit. She's your best friend. Hmm? She's your best friend. Yeah, she is. She is. Yeah. She's my... She's my BF. Yeah. You're my BFF. Oh, someone's got to go take a phone call. Mm -hmm. Oh. She, her sister. But... Um... So, yeah, right now it's it's probably going to be a few months. Um, I'm not ashamed to say it. Nobody should be ever ashamed to say, hey, I need help. Whether it's talking to somebody or it's... What are you looking for? They were sitting right there on the table. Oh, no. They weren't in your pocket. Yeah, no. Um... Don't be afraid or ashamed to say that you need help. Don't lose yourself in a bottle. That's even worse. As I'm drinking a tall beer, but I don't really drink. I mean, there's days that I go with nothing. And then there's days where it's like, dude, today is just a day. I just want to have like a ton of beers, but it, I'm slowly getting back to the yeah, no, no thanks. I just don't need it. But, um, just kind of remember, everybody processes everything differently. Um, but you have to understand, too, is sometimes when I have said those things that when I'm out for blood, um, it's really difficult to repair that relationship. Because once it's gone... Once you've gone that far, I mean, it's, it's kind of gone. And I've done that a few times. And, um, I'm just getting pan for the famous fried taters. Ugh. But, um, no, it's... Everyone, don't be afraid. Uh, I've never had a whole lot of experience in um, helping people cope and and dealing with um, like suicide hotline, but I will post it because as much as you want, there are there are avenues for help. So. And there are people out there, people out there that say, hey, look, you've got something going on, Dude, just call. Um, you, one of my sons kind of described suicide for a minute, because a lot of times those of us that are left behind, we think of suicide as selfish. We think of it where they weren't thinking about other people and this and this and for some people you have to understand is for them that that is their way out of the pain that they're feeling each and every single day so I'm not saying at any means right now that I am I support but I'm saying I understand I understand why there are people that do it um, because it's true when you get to a certain point 
you know, that's how they feel their only option is. Um, one of my kids has had to deal with it very up close and personal. Um, they were the last ones that the person talked to before they did. And uh, that's, that has been taxing on them. Um, and kids, if you're like me and you have adult children, which some people are hard to believe that I have adult children. In fact, after this year, I will not have a single teenager. They will be all over the age of 20 or older. Um, sometimes you need to give them the space and sometimes you need to say, look, I'm here to listen, but sometimes they need more than that. Sometimes they need somebody outside of family um, to talk to. So, uh, learning a lot, I will tell you that in my oldest is 23, excuse me, my baby will turn 20 in a couple months, my middle will turn 22, but, um, I have learned way, way more than I think some people give our kids credit for, but my kids have definitely taught me a lot about different things, uh, mental, mental awareness, mental health, um, and sometimes it's good, listen to your kids, because sometimes we as adults, we don't have all the answers. I know I don't. And I'm far from perfect, and I will never be a person that says I'm perfect. I do not live in a glass house. And then I get made fun of because I'll turn around and if I'm wrong, I'm the first one to say I'm wrong. It's okay to be wrong. Uh, today, yeah, we're going to cook some food. I'm so happy. It's like, I love this. This shirt is just, it's comfy. It's airy. Probably should have gone with an extra large, but maybe I'll order another one. Uh, maybe get some of his different jerseys. But I challenge you, watch this guy, because I watched him kick a goal. He kicked a, not a free kick, not a penalty shot, but a free kick. Seriously watched the ball. He kicked it with English where it went around people and the goalkeeper just wasn't expecting that kind of shot. And watching it go in and you're just like, okay, how in the hell does this guy do this? And he has seriously made professional footballers in Europe look foolish with the way he plays. Just an, uh, he's just an amazing player. Uh, a lot of respect for somebody with that kind of talent and that kind of skill. It's just... Dang. Um, let's see. Got the barbecue sauces. I do need to take them over to that one restaurant. Uh, last time we were there, nobody answered. Um, it looks like they were coordinating an event, and I'm not going to interrupt anything like that. But I'm going to take the barbecue sauce. i got to figure out how to sell it. I've got to start figuring out how to bottle it, how to seal tops so I could ship it online. Um, so three flavors so far. Uh, one is the apple raspberry. The second one is raspberry peach. And the third one is blackberry peach. So... Not blackberry, blueberry. The blackberry one, I want to try a blackberry pear. So, probably in the coming weeks, I'm going to do, I'm going to add a fourth one and use my guinea pig taste tester girl to do that. So, um, right now, we're going to cut this little video short. Um, we'll come back when I'm cooking more. And, uh, 
trying to think one one show that really got me hooked about mental health is uh he played lex luther on smallville michael rosenbaum he has a podcast inside of you with michael rosenbaum he's got a bunch of people ranging from tom welling who played clark Kent on smallville um he just had james marsters who played spike on buffy and angel he played uh Oh my, Brainiac on Smallville. So, he's been a lot of things. I really like him. And uh, while I'm cooking until I start a new video, I'm going to go back and keep watching. Um, but it also shows other people and how they deal with depression, anxiety, panic attacks, OCD, things like that. And I'm very, very OCD. That's Anybody I've worked with, any friends, uh, family, I'm very, my kids, my, I am a little over sometimes with OCD, but uh, everybody be good. I'm going to keep wearing my Cristiano Ronaldo, and uh, I'm going to tag him, just saying that since he's back at Manchester United, very nice. Uh keep playing because you impress this American with your with your skills tremendously so please it's entertaining and keep entertaining uh, everybody let's just be mindful let's be careful um, and be safe there's just a lot of a lot of crap going on out there over this past weekend, a couple of shootings, I guess, and so everybody, let's be safe, be be aware of your surroundings, um, and definitely do some research on active shooters and know how to escape as much as you can, because it's a scary thing, and I wish nobody to go through that, and I pray that we don't have anything, we don't see anything like that, because I would not want to be someone to live through that and know, know people that have gotten hurt, so stay safe out there.